Glock 19X, 10 rounds, and go. Welcome back to the channel, Hosers Backdoor doing another Glock 19X video. I did the unboxing two weeks ago, so today I just wanted to give you an update. I've uh, taken it to the range two or three times, and I wanted to show you my first impressions and some uh, accuracy videos. Um, the last video I had a few commenters tell me I should have did my research and looked up the stats first and, um, and that I don't know what I'm doing, and especially when it comes to inserting magazines. So um, I just wanted to remind you that you guys are getting what you paid for. This is a free YouTube video. I have 220 followers as of today. Nobody's paying me and as such the content reflects. So in order to bring things up a bit, I decided to write a script yesterday when I was uh, drinking a few beers. And um, so I wrote down a few things that I wanted to to jump in and dive into but uh, the one thing that caught me off guard is I don't know why I wrote penis here especially with question marks I don't know if I wanted to include a penis joke or if I'm thinking hey maybe there's something to penis I, I don't know why I put the question marks there but nevertheless I wrote a script and uh, we'll jump in and I uh, just wanted to address a few things that I had concerns with over the Glock 19X so first and foremost holster this is a blade tech holster for the gen 5 g17 model and you'll see g19 fits no problem it's uh, in there good obviously it's the same 17 frame so it'll fit it's just as you can see the barrel and the uh, slide come a little bit it probably ends right about there but nevertheless it works good um so those are good to go 17s will work okay so again that's a gen 5 17 i i don't know about the gen 4s uh probably won't uh maybe if you loosen it but i can't speak to that uh as for the mags the obviously the magazines it comes with work fine i can confirm that this coyote g g19 mag will work in the g17 gen 5 i've tried it it worked no problem and i just wanted to show you some gen 5 mags so this is a magpul gen 5 and these are OEM Gen 5s, just different base plates. Um, I mean, they're one's a little bit thicker and heavier, but nevertheless, all three work. So as you can see, no problems there. Falls out nicely. Ouch. See? So these are all Gen 5, and this is the Magpul one. And as you can see, they all work. I believe the issue I'm having with my Gen 5 is the, the lip. Uh, whereas this one you could see it comes out just a bit and when you put the magazine in It's clearing it so it's not intruding uh, Or interfering in any way so it fits fine so Gen 5 magazines will work um, Next thing I wanted to discuss was the trigger uh, I, In my last video I discussed how I felt that the trigger is better than my Gen 5 and after a, a day's uh, range visits uh, when I was specifically paying attention to the triggers between this and the the uh, the G17 I can say that this one does feel better um, I don't know if it's intended to or if it's just this model maybe the springs are different but I can confirm that this one does feel better it's uh, much smoother less grit uh, clean break I am really happy with this trigger especially on a Glock um, you know I've um, with striker fired pistols especially the ones i use they're always a little bit disappointing but this one i don't know this one is really good uh, i tried looking into whether or not they've done something different and i can't find any definitive information uh, about the trigger on the glock website so i can only speak to what it feels like and i really do think that this one does feel better um accuracy i'm gonna roll in some video here we'll try six shots for the head
that one's a little high and to the left and you'll see that i'm actually shooting this pretty well i think in the video i might i haven't looked at it yet but i haven't um confirmed i think i might say 10 meters it's actually 12 meters um but you know i'm going for a, a little tiny head and i'm hitting it i'm shooting the gong no problem um there's a couple gong misses because i was just trying to go faster than i should Glock 19x 10 rounds three targets and go but uh, incredibly accurate at 12 meters. Um, I mean, every handgun should be at 12. Uh, I, I've yet to come across a pistol that, um, that I've noticed, you know, inadequate accuracy at 12 meters. I've never really shot pistol more than 25, and even then that's seldom, so I can't really speak to, you know, long range accuracy, but um, so far so good. I'm definitely shooting this better than my 17 with the Trigigon RMR. I don't know if it's just a combination of the trigger and the iron sights, um, but normally I shoot the RMR pretty well, but I was shooting this one better. So so definitely impressed with this one, really liking it uh, more so than my my 17 MOS. Uh, number five, penis. Okay, uh, let's give you a penis joke. Uh, what has 312 teeth and guards a giant? My zipper. All right, there you go, penis joke uh npvd coding so this is the new coding that they're using in dark coyote uh it's not bad i will say this i've only holstered this gun three or four times and it was already showing marks so i'm a little concerned with the longevity of this this finish um only time will tell i am planning on using it for ipsic uh my my crappy camera won't pick it up but um, you know, a couple times in the holster and you could already see little rub marks. So I was a little disappointed with that. And then on top of that, again, I'm sure my camera won't pick it up, but it really shows different colored dis like it's just color disparity. Uh, again, I don't know if it's from the oil or just the way the lights reflecting, but you know, here it looks fine here. It looks dark here. It looks like it just, when I'm looking at this now in the light, and again, it just might be the way it's reflecting in the oil, but um it just doesn't look consistent all the time and i don't know how it's going to hold up so i'm a little concerned about that but again you know it's a eight nine hundred dollar duty gun that you know is supposed to be run through the paces so i'm not too concerned with that and you know if it ever does get really bad i'll just seracote it so really that's it uh so as you can see from some of the shooting videos, uh, it shoots really flat, really accurate. I've had no complaints. Um, I haven't had a single malfunction with it yet. So before I just started this video, I did a quick uh, Google search just for some of the problems that people are having. And the one big one that I keep seeing is stove piping. Um, and those were from 2019. So I don't know if that was an issue with the earlier models, but I can speak to about, uh, again, I. I don't think I quite hit 500 rounds, but it's definitely about three to 400. And I haven't had a single malfunction or stoppage with this. Um, so I don't know if the stovepipe issue was older models or if it was just, you know, isolated incidents or bad ammo. But what I can say, factory ammo, um, zero, zero problems, zero malfunctions. It's been super reliable and highly recommend this one. Get your hands on it take a look uh, i i would say i like this better than the 17. if you have any questions hit me up